Welcome to Bond Hill Geography. Today we'll be looking at Leeds South Bank Regeneration. Leeds South Bank was once a thriving industrial centre. It was a powerhouse of global manufacturing. However, during the 1970s and 80s, deindustrialisation hit hard for multiple reasons. Factories closed, jobs vanished and the area fell into disrepair. By 2015, the South Bank was largely derelict with vacant buildings, low population and obviously a lack of community spirit. The Leeds South Bank Regeneration Project is one of Europe's largest, covering 253 hectares of land south of the River Eyre. With a £500 million investment, this ambitious project is to double the size of Leeds City Centre by 2028, bringing unprecedented change into the city. The key objectives include creating 8,000 new homes, though only 10% of these will be affordable for people on low incomes. The project also aims to create over 35,000 jobs in, business, in sectors like business, retail and leisure, providing a much needed boost to the local economy, potentially leading to the multiplier effect as more investment is drawn in. This regeneration includes restoring over 30 listed and landmark buildings, such as the Leeds Stock Lock Gates, to preserve the area's industrial heritage. New infrastructure will adapt these spaces for modern use, ensuring their legacy endures. Air Park is set to become the largest new city centre green space in the UK, connecting diverse open areas with streams, lakes and green roofs. These features will help to combat the urban heat island effect. As a reminder, this is when urban areas absorb more heat than surrounding areas with vegetation, reduce air pollution and support local biodiversity. Urban green and efforts do extend beyond Air Park. Solar panels on homes and businesses will reduce carbon-3 electricity, while energy efficient designs will lower heating costs for residents. There's also collaboration with the Environment Agency, which will reduce flood risk by using permeable surfaces and modern defences. The South Bank is strategically located just a short walk from Leeds train station and a 15 minute walk from the city centre. The arrival of the HS2 high-speed rail to Birmingham will enhance Leeds' connectivity to other major UK cities, driving economic growth and attracting investment, again leading to our multiplier effect. Now this regeneration brings social and economic opportunities. New schools, excellent transport links and community spaces will improve many residents' quality of life and foster a stronger sense of community. However, there are challenges. Gentrification could push out low-income residents and businesses, particularly in nearby Holbeck as house prices and rents increase. The project also requires relocating eight businesses, potentially impacting their customer base. Additionally, despite its focus on sustainability, increased car usage might exacerbate congestion and air pollution. As previously stated, the project is expected to generate a multiplier effect, attracting more businesses and investment to the area. However, many of the jobs created will require higher skill levels, potentially excluding residents who lack qualifications. Meanwhile, as a brownfield site, the area's redevelopment also involves hidden costs like land cleanup and demolition of old structures. These have significantly driven up the project's overall cost. Overall, it's key to say, Leeds South Bank is undergoing a remarkable transformation, blending its industrial heritage with innovation. It's a bold vision for many cities of the future, balancing opportunities and challenges to redefine the city's landscape. Over the next two slides, you'll find our summaries. Uh, after this, you will find these slides with the example questions. Here are four examples of example questions. However, you could be asked uh, singular answers, particularly, for example, about urban greening or energy efficiency within homes. I would recommend more than anything else using the example of Leeds greenhouse development for energy efficiency. However, you could talk about urban greening using the uh, Leeds South Bank. Over the next four slides are the answers and models to these four questions, but please do pause here and have a try at answering them first. The first three questions, we would use our peel paragraphs, uh, aiming for three with a conclusion. However, the fourth question says evaluate. 
Remember, evaluate, we are trying to look at the advantages and disadvantages of the context of the question, in which here we have social and economic sustainability. Have a try, use the summary slide to help you. Thank you for watching Bond Hill Geography. I hope you appreciate the new end slide. Like and subscribe for future content. See you next time.